Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Done and Done. I'm Marcus Dash, and I'm here with the man, the myth, the blocking tight end legend, and every defensive end's nightmare, former Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Jason Dunn. JD, my man, how you doing, buddy? What's up, brother? What's going on? I'm uh, excited about this little segment we're going to do right here, so uh, I think it's going to be a great thing. Uh, give the fans something to talk about, some great football, uh, and uh, some good some good takes. Yep, yep. Yeah, so as J.D. said, we're excited to be bringing a little bit of our show, Chief Concerns, to the RGR Network. And you can subscribe to our channel, uh, Chief Concerns, for an extended show and extended analysis of the game. Uh, this week, we actually have Chiefs defensive back Nazi Johnson on helping us preview the game against the Cardinals this weekend. So be sure to check that out. Um, so with kind of with this show, the Done and Done show, um, each week, uh, J.D. is going to be talking about two players, one who's really high on and he's not concerned about it at all. And then another one who he is concerned about, you know, playing off chief concerns. Um, and when our co-host uh, Eric Warfield, also former Kansas city chief uh, defensive back for a good while, when he comes back uh, to the show, he's going to be doing his two players as well on that same subject. Um, and so, and then our final segment of the done and done show will be Jason's done and done segment where he talks about, and he talks about a, a, a Something that's either grinding his gears or something that he needs to that that he needs really needs to get off his chest, and that's what the uh, the done and done segment is all about. And um, yeah, I think yeah. it's gonna be I think it's gonna be great, JD. You you excited about it? I think I think it's gonna be awesome. You know, I, I have a chance to kind of loosen my lips a little bit, and uh, you know, throw you a little bit of my pain, my angst, or what I'm thinking about the Chiefs and what uh, uh you know what we're talking about and what concern and. So I'll go on my little rant. I'm, I'm I'm known to kind of go on my rant a little bit. Uh, so it, it's be good. It'd be good for to have this conversation. So everybody, hey, enjoy this little segment that we got for you. You'll get a little bit more from Chiefs Concerns. Come over and come see us on YouTube, Apple, Spotify. Uh, come check us out on Twitter. So there's going to be a few segments that we'll do uh, that is going to be great for the people to come see. So we'll start up with the first one. We'll see what you think. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, um, uh, we're gonna be getting into the first part of the show for the players that he's not concerned with versus the players he is concerned with. So JD, we're gonna start off with a player you are concerned with as we look to week one against the Cardinals. Who is one guy you are kind of concerned or position group that you're kind of concerned with uh, from what you saw maybe during preseason and and you hope that you get to play turned around for the regular season? Yeah, so uh week one, Arizona Cardinals. Um uh, my my First concern, uh, not necessarily a particular guy, but I'm going to say particular group, okay? And I wanted to see a little bit more. That's why I'm concerned about it, uh, is going to be the defensive end. It's going to be the rush, the pass rushers, okay? There's been a lot of questions going into training camp about who's going to be the guy that's going to be able to show up. Is George Kalafikas going to be the guy that is the guy that we thought we he is when we drafted him? And so I think George did a great job during the preseason. I think he's going to be a stud and a star here. Uh, showing a lot of uh, 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 speed, a lot of passion, things that we needed here in Kansas City. Now, the, my question and the concern is where everybody else is going to be, how everybody else is going to fit in this whole scheme of things. And so, you know, during this, of course, preseason, uh, we he seemed like the only one that was kind of getting some pressures. And so now what I'm more concerned about is where is uh, Dan and where is uh, 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 Frank Clark? Okay, where's, uh, you know, we're, we're Dunlap. And so these guys that I'm looking for, uh, Dunlap that we brought in, we're looking for more pressure off these guys. And so we look at the last three games that they played during preseason, whether it was Green Bay, it was the Commanders, or it was Chicago. Uh, week one, they're going to see a whole different type of animal back there throwing the football and running around. So the defensive ends are going to have to be the guys that's going to have the, the cape song. They're going to be the Superman of the defense this week because we don't want these guys back there running around or the, you know, our secondary or the linebackers running around trying to catch Kyle Murray or try to stop some of these receivers from catching the football. And also, too, James Conner from toting the rock and getting a whole lot of yards running the ball. So the defensive ends got to show up for this game. That's what I'm looking to see, man. Are they going to put on the big hat? Are they going to put on – uh, uh, the giant cowboy hat to make sure that we take care of everything. Are they going to put on, uh, uh, I don't know what you say, the, like the Superman suit, the Batman fit. Are they ready for this? And that's what I'm looking for. So that's my concern. Defensive ends, 
pass rushing, we want to see what's going to happen this week. And so hopefully they're going to go ahead and get it done. I'm looking for Frank to have a big game. I'm looking for uh, George the Animal Steel, George the Animal Colophagus, or George. They got several names for the guy, okay? After this game, we're going to make sure we have a name particular for him, okay? So I'm just going to I'm gonna just gonna put that out there. But all these other guys, Dannon, uh, you know, Kando, if he's playing, whoever it may be, whoever they decide to come out with, uh, Dunlap, what guys are going to show up or the whole group's going to show up. So the eyes on you. That's my concern. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's one thing that everyone was concerned about going into the off season this year. You know, our pass rush was kind of non-existent last year. Um, I mean, it, we, we, we brought in Ingram. There was kind of a, a little bit, a little bit more there, but still wasn't really as, as it, it, it wasn't where it should be um, based on the amount of money we're spending on the D line. So yeah, hopefully that hopefully our concerns are uh, nullified when it comes to uh, our pass rush this year. Um, so moving on to the other side of the ball, um, player you are you're not concerned with uh, going into week one of the season. Oh, that the that is the easy one. That is the easy one, and the reason it's the easy one is because of all the hate, all the vitriol, all the doubt, all the questions. You know, coming from all these other. Uh, analysts out here and these, these sports casts, all these guys are sitting over talking, the talking heads are talking about an SPM 15. That's Patrick Mahomes, the second. This guy, what is everybody crying about? What are they worried about? They, they keep bringing these guys up. And I said on Twitter, like, it's like a, a bad magician's trick. Okay. They're trying to pull the rabbit out of the hat, but they keep pulling out chickens, right? It's like they don't want us to see. Uh, what this guy can do. It's like almost they want us to forget the last four years about what this guy has done in the NFL, right? And so it, I, I'll tell you this, and it, it, here's a question. And, and uh, like, how do you say a guy, for one, I heard hype, for one, uh, or a guy may be overrated or he's not living up to the moment? Four years as a full starter, okay? He's been to four consecutive AFC championship games, two Super Bowls in that time. One MVP for one, one, one Super Bowl. What is the hype? I, I don't understand. Like the, the hype is warranted because he's just that good, right? But then all of a sudden, we, what we want to do, we want to talk about, or well, the ones that talk ahead want to talk about what is 15 is not that good. And we keep bringing up Joe Burrow and, uh, you know, uh, Herbert and uh, uh, the Bills guy. I can't even think of his name. Josh Allen. Okay, that's his name. Josh Allen. They get, you keep bringing these guys up, right? But now these guys have been able to do what Patrick Mahomes been able to do. Okay, let's just talk about it. Okay, real quick. All right, just real quick. Most consecutive 300 plus, plus, plus passing yards in games. Eight. That's what he get. Consecutive double digits, deficits overcoming, including the playoffs. That's six. Fastest to 10,000 career passing yards. 34 games. Fastest to 100 career touchdowns. 40 games. Fastest to 15,000 career passing yards in 49 games. Career quarterback rating, minimum 1,500 attempts, 105.8. Career passing yards per game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep going and keep going, man. He's got all these records. What I, You know, I'm, I'm pulling them up. And so he, we can keep going over and over what this guy's been able to do. But apparently, somebody, nobody's getting a menu. Apparently, everybody just doesn't think the guy's as good as he's been showing, as good as he's been playing, as good as he's been kicking everybody's butt around the league. Somehow, everybody continues to doubt him. But I had no concern on, on uh, PM15, not one bit, not at all. Listen, there was a reason they called him a Grim Reaper because when he came in and he just absolutely with the sickle cut heads off the Buffalo Bills, that's who he is, right? Thir Mr. 13 seconds putting it in for you. That's the type of work that he does. But yet, here we go. We got some of these clowns out of here, of course. Hey, you know what? We don't think he's that good. We ain't that man. Nah, 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 nah. That's all we hear. Hey, man. Everybody needs to just cut it out. Stop it. Get some help. No, uh, Michael Jordan, me, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> right now, it's just ridiculous. Okay. And it looks sad. It looks sad. But guess what? Hey, he's not going to worry about any of that. All he's going to do is show up. And he's going to keep dotting those eyes and putting those as bullseyes on his wide receivers and scoring touchdowns. That's what we're looking for. So I'm riding with PN15, Kansas City Chiefs. We know what it is, baby. Okay. So when it when is it gonna be over? When is gonna the doubt gonna leave? Huh? When when everybody gonna come to the right side? Okay. Leave the dark side, come on to the come see the light. Come see the light. PM 15, man. 
He's going to do it. He's going to do it big. Yeah, and then um, on our show, Chief Concerns, uh, for this week's episode, uh, Nazi Johnson actually talks about, we ask him about what the kind of feeling in the locker room is, and he talks about how a lot of the clips and stuff that we see on the internet as fans, that's it's being talked about and watched in the locker room. So they're yes, keeping sir. mental notes of all this stuff, and it's it's – you know, we always assume that they're keeping mental notes of this, but when I heard that Nazi Johnson said, "Yep, that's that stuff's that stuff's being shown in the locker room," so Mahomes is definitely seeing it and hearing it. So, scorched earth this year, scorched uh -huh. scorched earth, yes sir, it's coming, it's coming. Um, and again, uh, for more on this game, uh, to preview the Chiefs and Cardinals with uh, Chiefs uh, DB Nazi Johnson and former Chiefs tight end Jason Dunn, just go to the Chief Concerns channel for the full preview. Um, so JD with the final segment on the done and done show is the done and done segment. What are you going to go off about right here? Oh, uh, well, I think I just did it the last segment. I, I think I did to be <laughs> honest with you, but I actually, I, I got something else to kind of go off on. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll put these things together. Uh, we'll combine them. Uh, but my, what, what I'm going to go off on. Okay. Is what I feel what I believe in my heart and in my bones and in my soul that we have to do offensively. Hey, is run the football. Hey, hey, look, I know it. A, a guy that, that, that blocked a lot of guys had a lot of thousand yard rushers running behind me. Hey, it'd be crazy. If a guy like this would think, Hey, running the football actually works. It does. Hey, it absolutely does. And so look, we got some talented running backs in that room. No doubt about it. And so we know CEH, okay? We know we got Jared McKinnon. We got Pacheco. We got Rojo, Ronald Jones. We got talented guys that can do it all. They can catch the ball out the backfield. Hey, they can get swing passes. But one thing they do have with them, an ability, is to run the football. So why not do it? Why not do it? And look. The reason I say this and the reason I'm so it grinds my gears a little bit, it's because, hey, yeah, I got a little bit sour taste about what happened at the end, you know, against Cincinnati. I think we should have ran the football more. A lot of people have the same sentiment as I do. But also, too, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at that beautiful offensive line that we have, right? Headed by what? Hey, the man himself. We got Creed in the middle. Then to his right, we got Trey Smith. It was left. Hey, we got Joe Thune. And we talk about Orlando Brown out there on the end, right? And then we're going to probably go with Wiley. It's, that's that's what we're looking at. And every single one of these guys, they love to absolutely run the football. They love being physical up front. And so give the offensive line what they want, what they deserve, what they need. They need to destroy and eat ribs. Give them some ribs to eat, okay? And it's going to be off defensive ends. This is what it's going to be in linebackers, okay? So give them a meal. Let them go out there and get their food, okay? Make sure when we come in against Arizona, we will effectively run the football. Effectively. And I know we will do that. So that's what grounds my gears. That's why I'm at with it. We got to run the football. Hey, look, if I had to do it like this, listen, hey, Andy, uh, uh, EB, uh, let me have a conversation with you real quick. Uh, let's just run the football, okay? Just, just line up, cleats in the ground, okay? Bully ball. We're talking about what, like Pre says, uh, three yards or in, in a cloud of dust. That's what we're trying to do. We, we, we're coming off the football. We're hitting you straight in the mouth, all right? We're not playing cutesies out here and whatnot. I know we'll score points throwing the football because PM15 right there is going to be doing it, baby. You know, Travis Kelsey is going to be catching the football, scoring a lot of touchdowns. Jody Forrest, we talked about him. Jody's going to probably get one. You know that. So we're going to talk about him getting eight touchdowns this past year. We're going to start right here in Arizona. Let's start it right here. But, hey, it all starts with running the football. So that's where I'm at. Hey, I, I tried to see H in three fantasy leagues, so I, I'm, I'm I'm right there with you with that running the football. <laughs> there we go. Good, good. I got him in one of mine, too. So he's, he's going to get it done. He's going to get it done. Let's let's hope so. Let's hope so. And let's hope they listen to your uh, your, your beautiful monologue there. Yeah, man. Please look. Let's, let's just be physical. One time, let's be physical. Just come off the football and go hit people in the mouth. All right. How about we just do that? Just 
one right here, game one, we're going to put everybody on notice, come straight off the football, hitting everybody in their mouth. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Listen to JD, man. JD know what he's talking about. Yes, he come holler at me. If you don't, we'll have a conversation. We'll see. <laughs> Awesome. That was beautiful, J.D. Well, that does it for us. We hope you enjoyed our first episode of Done and Done. And for more about Chief Concerns, please visit our website, chief-concerns.com, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Chief Concerns. You can listen to us on Apple, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.